Hi friends, this is Miss Lissa, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about line. Line, zzz, lines. So line, a line is a point that actually travels through space. So it's a point that moves, and there's lots of different kind of lines. And we're gonna start out by practicing some kinds of lines. And now these are not all lines, these are just some lines. So check this out. You are going to watch what I do. I'm gonna upload some lines, some different lines, and I want you to try those out. And then you're gonna put them in to making a pattern out of lines. So lines, you can have vertical lines. Those are up and down lines, and you can repeat them. You can have horizontal lines, which are side to side lines. It's kind of like the horizon. You can have diagonal lines. They go to from side to side. You can have them go one way. You can have them go another way. You can have wavy lines or wavy lines. You can have something called a scallop line, which is kind of like fish scales. You can have a zigzag line. It can be different. It could be trying to keep it similar. Zigzag line is sharped. You can have, they call this a chevron line or this. It almost looks like a greater than or less than symbol repeated. You can have thin lines, you can have thick lines, you can have short lines, and you can have long lines. Also, you can have a broken line. You can have a broken line that does other things. You can have a copycat line, which I'm gonna do with a different color. Copycat lines, just see what one is and repeat it. So that's the copycat line. Here's my broken line in a different way. So that's a broken line. You can have a crisscross line. It's also called a uh, crosshatch line. You can have a loop-de-loo or a curly line. Oh yes, and the spiral line. Spiral lines, you can start big and go small. You can start small and go big. You can have a double spiral where you start in one way and then have it go backwards. You can have a spiral line that actually is not starting as a circle. So these are just some kind of lines. So you're going to try to draw these kinds of lines. You can look at the video again you can look at the picture that is uploaded in Google Classroom, and then you're going to try to find at least five different lines in your environment. I will add some of those lines at the end here, and you're going to take pictures, and you're going to upload them to Google Classroom. Okay, good luck, friends. Bye.